Hello everybody, welcome to lecture 10 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. In this lecture we are gonna start in Intellectual Property Unit which is a very important uh, unit because uh, it talks about very critical issues in the computing field. The topics to be covered in this chapter the principles, laws and cases of intellectual property. What do we mean by intellectual property? Intellectual property is the intangible creative work not its particular physical form. The value of intellectual property is the value of the intelligence and the artistic work comes from creativity, ideas, research, skills, labors, etc. Intellectual property can be protected by the copyright and patent law. The copyright law in the US gives the holder of the copyright many rights. These rights include making a copy, producing derivative works, uh, distributing copies, uh, performing or displaying the work in public. Now let's move to a very important issue regarding intellectual property which is the challenges of new technology. Development in technologies create a lot of challenges regarding intellectual property. For example, easiness and cheapness of copyright infringement because of the huge availability of copyrighted work on the internet. Also, uh, the use of compression tools for a large files or large documents. Another uh, challenge is the easiness of finding materials uh, by the search engine on the internet. Also another uh, challenge uh, the easiness of transferring and sharing material. Moreover the easiness of uh, sharing and transforming uh, files via broadband connection. Also the easiness of recording exclusive event by the embedded cameras on cell phones for example. Uh, the easiness of uh, scanning the hard materials and convert them to soft copies to be easy for modification and sharing. And also the tools that could be used for conver converting materials or modification on materials also be challenge. Now, look at this question. What does it mean to solve the problems of technology's impact on intellectual property rights? First, we should recognize the problem looks different from different perspectives. For example, to customers, the problem is to get them cheaply. To writers or copyright holders, the problem is to ensure that they are paid for the time and effort they put in uh, they put in the intellectual property products to protector or publishers the problem is to protect their investment and expected revenues to scholars and various advocates the problem is to how to protect intellectual pro property and so on. Now let's have a look on uh, a brief history of the laws in the US regarding the intellectual property and copyright. The first law regarding copyright issued on 1790. After that according to changes and development of technology, the types of the materials to be copyrighted also developed. Accordingly, copyright law developed 
to include the visual material, software, copying for commercial purposes, repro reproducing and distributing materials, making, distributing and using tools on internet to infringe copyrights, recording movies in theaters and so on. Now, what's the fair use of the copyrighted work? Four factors uh, considered first the purpose and nature of use whether it is commercial or non-profit purpose non-profit purpose like the education when you use some copyrighted work for the purpose of education the second factor is the nature of the copyrighted work third is the amount and significance of portion used fourth the effect of use on potential market or value of the copyright work there is no single factor alone determines and not all factors given equal weight varies by circumstances there are many ethical arguments about copying first copying or distributing a song or a computer program does not decrease the use and enjoyment any other person gets from his or her copy. Another argument, the copying can decrease the amount of money that the copyright owner earns. Another ethical argument about copying, the copying enables users to try out products benefiting the copyright owner by encouraging sales also businesses and organizations should make their own decisions about marketing products not consumers who want free sam fair use guidelines are useful ethical guidelines finally there are many arguments for an against unauthorized copy here are some cases uh, we gonna uh, skip this and you can go to the book and read it in details because it's gonna take more time so this one case this is uh, the same case it is regarding now let's stop here and see what does look and feel mean look and feel refers to features such as pull down menu windows icon and finger movements and specific ways that uh, they are used to select or initiate actions reflects major creative effort by programmers the question here does copyright apply to user interfaces the internal structure and programming could be entirely different there are different arguments about this case somebody argued that look and feel must be protected by a copyright and on the other hand some people disagree with this finally here are some discussion questions try to think about it there are three questions here one about the interactual property and physical property what are the similarity between them and the second question the differences between them and the third question ask you if you agree about the idea that someone can own intellectual property uh, uh, also there are another discussion question uh, what do you think the impact would be on creative industries such as music movies fictions novels etc if copyright laws did not protect intellectual property. Try to think about this and see you in the next lecture. Goodbye.